Albert, the first home game of uh, the Europa League against a big Italian side. What do you expect of tomorrow's match? I expect uh, a stadium with uh, all our fans supporting the team, the team as much as they can. But of course, we also have to play good to put the fans in our back. Yeah, sometimes uh, I always say it is the team who has to play good and then the fans will come and they will support us as much as we can. And that is also what we have to do. It's against a very good team with a lot of experience in Europe, with uh, very good players. But I also know that if we can reach our high level, the team every time is getting better and better. I hope they can play with a lot of confidence, if they can give the energy that I saw in the last game with the pressing high, the team more compact. Uh, that we play with much more confidence with the ball, uh, I think uh, we can have uh, chances to get some result at the end of the game. But it will be a difficult game, for sure. And when you face a team like Lazio with, with such a high level, is there anything uh, you change in the approach for the game or, or do you continue as, as usual? No, no, we continue as, uh, as usual uh, because I think it's the best way to, to help the players. You cannot change game by game. We are developing the team for the, for the future, and uh, if I start to change every game, I am confusing the players. And, uh, and we don't have time, we play a game every three days. That means we have to continue developing, try to make our team stronger and stronger, that they know how our, our foundation. And then it's about if they can have a good day, if they can perform good, if they can play as a team, compact, and they can have a good day in inspiration, in creativity. And apart from, of course, a good result, uh, you talked a bit about it here, but what exactly do you expect from, from the team? Oh, I expect a good performance. I expect that the players deliver everything on the field with an, an honest way, with, uh, with courage, that they are not afraid. Uh, that is what I expect. And then at the end of the game, I also expect that when we, we will have our chances, that we will. Uh, we are accurate into the box. And when they will have chances against us, because they will, because it's a top team, that they are not so accurate. Because in this kind of games, a lot of times the difference is in the areas, is into the box. That is why uh, clubs pay a lot of money for the players who can put the ball in. Okay. And uh, you, you touched on it earlier. Uh, tomorrow we will have a sold-out stadium. Uh, first time you experience it at home, and uh, as you say, uh, if the players get the fans along, you know you can you can have something. How much can can the fans? Uh, help in a, in a game like this to get the, the result? It's, it's, it's very important for us uh, that the fans are behind us. Uh, it, it helps a lot, and, uh, but also we know that we need to do our best to, to help them to bring uh, all the support. For us it's very important and the players love it when, when they see the full stadium. And me as a coach is, is, is what you want. But it's important that the players uh, have to be the first and then the fans are the second. It's a consequence. We have to play good, with energy, with good football, the football that they like, and then uh, the fans it will come more and more and more. But to see tomorrow a full stadium is fantastic for us.